Hi, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Clifton French with uh, Real News Michiana here with a Real News interview. And joining us is Michigan State Representative Steve Cara. Uh, <laughs> and this is kind of a last minute, uh, last minute interview. Um, Steve and I met uh, yesterday and I discovered that uh, he just he just wrote a new book uh, and he's launching it. What? Um, later this week. Correct. Tuesday, we're doing a pre-launch party in Sturgis. And mm -hmm. what inspired me to write this book is the fact that Gretchen Whitmer is writing her own book called True Gretch. <laughs> and she's going to talk about how she responded yeah. to COVID-19, the kidnapping plot against her, abortion, Donald Trump. And I was thinking to myself, I want to write that book for her. So I did. Before we move on, if you're watching this video on YouTube, don't forget, like this video and also subscribe to our channel. That really helps us out. And don't forget visit realnewsmichiana.com. There you'll find daily investigative stories, exclusive content put together by me. You'll also be able to make a one-time donation or if you want, become a subscribing member. All of that support helps us keep the lights on. Yeah, so I mean, your this book is 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 essentially an epic troll of of the, the, the most awful governor uh I think in the country right now. Um, it, with, with Gretchen Whitmer. Um, so I'm, I'm going to just pull up the details real quick, pull up your cover, um, and, and show everything that we have going here. I mean, so right now with, on the, on the, on the far right of your screen, that's, that's the, the cover of your, of your new book on the left is the details about, about the launch. Um, how long, when did you decide to write this book? How long did it take you um, from start to finish, just kind of run me through the timeline. She came out with the book, or at least I heard about it, maybe February or March. And I was thinking immediately I wanted to write it, but I'm a state representative. I'm in Lansing Tuesdays through Thursdays. I ended up deciding, just put it to the side for about over a month. And then finally in the middle of May, I decided I have to do this. So from May 19th until about a week and a half ago, it was writing revisions. It's 169 pages. And it was a heck of a whirlwind of about four and a half, five weeks. And we are going to have copies in hand Tuesday morning and hot off the press Tuesday night. We're going to have the preprint editions available at that dinner Tuesday night. What's your... Uh... What's the reaction been from people? Does does I'm 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 assuming Governor Whitmer knows about this. Yeah, I, she knows what I did. What what I'm. <laughs> and I I think she tries to ignore me, but I don't know how long that's going to last for her because I think this is going to make waves and people have a chance to uh, join on Tuesday night. If somebody wants to come to Sturgis, for those of you who are in the, uh, the local area, if an hour, two hours away, I would encourage you. It's worth, you know, considering signing up for that RSVP coming out here Tuesday night. It's at Roush world here in Sturgis. That's where I am currently is just a few miles away from there. It's in my state representative district down here in Southwest Michigan. And I, I think uh, yeah, it, it's a parody. So, you know, th this is, written in the first person as if Gretchen Whitmer is the one telling the story, but obviously it's the parody I wrote and she doesn't frame the arguments the way that I do. But mm -hmm. as you read through it and those of us from our perspective, you read it and it's like, well, that is actually basically what she is doing. And it, it actually sounds like what she's doing and why we don't like it. So I think people are going to, people are going to be excited about this. Can you give us a bit of a, I don't know, a couple of chapters you know, I mean, not even not verbatim, but uh, and what can people expect? Well, the I'll tell you the chapter names. I might forget one or two of them along the way. I just rattle them off the top of my head. But first chapter is my rise to power. Uh, second chapter is man-made virus outbreak. Um, third chapter is rules for thee, not for me. And uh, then we get into a fourth, fifth, sixth chapters. There's one on abortion called reproductive tyranny. Uh, there's mm -hmm. environmental injustice. Uh, there's uh, the greatest gift. 
Uh, that's a lot of inside baseball stories you're not going to hear anywhere else. I'm going to tell you things that you haven't even heard from the media before. But, you know, the other things, the rules for the not for me, people know about the boat launch from her husband up in yeah. forever. <laughs> I forgot all about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the trip she took down to Florida when she was telling everybody else to stay home. Uh, those are all in the book. People, you know, the public know some of these stories and some of these stories you are not going to hear anywhere else. And I go around, I tell people, well, Gretchen Whitmer is not going to like me after this book. And people laugh. Yeah. At Steve, she doesn't like you anyway already. So of course she doesn't. She's going to, she's not going to like this. Um, so how many books do you have available? How can people get their hands on them? I I'm, you know, I know I want a copy. Um, I, I'm wondering just, you know, distribution, all of that. I mean, so you, you did all this, you said about four and a half weeks. Um, so I mean, you went from, from writing it, publishing everything, um, in four and a half weeks, uh, uh, how, how can people get it? I mean, and, and, and I mean, this is, I'm assuming you don't have a ton of copies on hand, correct? We did 500 preprint copies, and those are the ones that are already printed. They're binding them uh, on tomorrow and Tuesday morning, and then we're picking up them and bringing them to, as you guys see on the on the screen here, uh, on Tuesday night. So, only 500 preprint editions, but I'm going to be printing thousands more in the next week or so. Uh, but we just needed to get these first ones out for this launch party, and. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, those are, those will be in hand in less than two days and truegretchenbook.com, As you can see on the screen, you can go there uh, and people can sign up to, to get a book if they would like to. And uh, there will be thousands more printed here in the next few weeks. This is releasing before her own release, correct? Yeah, that was part of the fast timeline because hers comes out July 9th and I'm a competitive guy. So I had to beat her to it. So my, my pre-launch copies in hand, July 2nd and a fifth launch is listed for the 4th of July. That's amazing. <laughs> That's so good. Oh my gosh. So who, who, how were you able to pay for this? How were you able to, to, to find the time to do this? Um, just the logistics behind this, um, you know, are mind boggling to me. Yeah, a very fast timeline, as you're aware. And I have some people who are business partners in it. You know, I invested some money myself. I have a couple other people who've invested in this project and other people who are just, you know, they're, they're taking their time and energy, putting it towards it. And instead of us being paid like employees for this, you know, we're going to share in the success of sales. So uh, people who believe in me, believe in my mission, and who were willing to help through the process and uh, because, because they believe in. And we brought what I believe is a quality product to market in a matter of weeks. And I'm looking forward to sharing it with people in Michigan and throughout the nation. And the more Gretchen Whitmer's in the news about being considered for president, uh, my anticipation is 2028 is what's on our eyes more. But after mm -hmm. what we've seen recently with Joe Biden, uh, they could be considering somebody else. Gretchen could be for vice president, uh, perhaps for president. I think I think VP in 24 is more likely for her, but certainly she's got her eyes on 2028. And yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm thinking that they're, you know, I mean, with the, <laughs> you, you couldn't have asked for a better time to, for this to be coming out. Yeah, yeah. And, and the global elitists want her. Michigan's been a playground for the global elitists. And Gretchen Whitmer is their pawn who's helped them to execute what they want in Michigan. And so she has earned the trust and confidence of the uh, corporate elitists, the crony capitalists. It's not free market. See, the Republican establishment has in the mm -hmm. past decades been guilty for picking winners and losers and giving money to the rich. That's not free markets. But Gretchen Whitmer and the Democrats here in Michigan they're carrying that torch of corporate elitism and we're us Republicans are starting to stand up for free markets and equal opportunity and less rules, regulations, taxes, fines, and fees and a business friendly environment where everybody can thrive. Gretchen Whitmer is taking the money from the hardworking middle class, the taxpayers and giving hundreds of millions, even billions of dollars to companies for electric vehicle battery plants with ties to the Chinese communist yep. party. 
I mean, we're talking $170 on average from every man, woman, and child in the state of Michigan to give it to her crony friends who have ties to the Chinese Communist Party. This is the type of ridiculousness. Like, we need to be able to provide for ourselves and, and keep that money in our own pockets. We don't need her stealing from us, saying she cares about the little guy, and then taking our money and giving it to the crooked corporate elite. If people actually know this is what Gretchen Whitmer is up to, uh, I think they're going to have a bitter taste in their mouth. And if they read this book, they're going to learn more about her. <laughs> you know, I know it's a parody, um, but you're writing the parody based on you're writing the parody based on actual events and and, and a lot of truth. Um, so, oh, my God, I can't wait. I cannot wait to read one um, or to get my hands on one and and, uh, and read it myself. So the next uh, step, you have your event tomorrow. Um, everybody who's in the in the area who can make it out or not tomorrow. Sorry. Um, yeah. Tomorrow, Tuesday. Well Whenever you're watching this, so whenever you're watching this, um, uh, you're having you're having your event on Tuesday. If people want to get out there, um, obviously we have the information, but it's in Sturgis. So if you live in the Southwest Michigan area, if you're in if you're in Northern Indiana, um, and want to make it out there, I mean, obviously, you know, we have we have the borders right here. Um, decisions that are made five minutes from my house. Um, you know, uh, impact, impact my, my, my life as well. Um, and anybody who lives on, you know, in these border regions. Um, so if you live here, if you live there, I encourage anybody to get up, uh, you know, to make it up there, uh, you know, <laughs> support, support what you're doing and, and, um, get what, what I'm, I'm, you know, I'm sure is going to be a great read. How can they get there? Where do they need to go? What do they need to do? Time, place, all of that stuff. Yeah, it's 6 p.m. Tuesday night at Roush World. It's an event center here in Sturgis. And encourage people to, if you want one of these pre-print limited editions, there's only going to be 500 of them. This is your chance to get your hands on the copy before it's officially launched to the public, which will be shortly thereafter. But this will be a limited edition, and uh, and you get to see it before the rest of the world sees it. And I, I hope this is something that uh, the people throughout the nation hear about. And, and I do believe it has that type of uh, capability of happening. Uh, but certainly the people in Michigan are going to have an appetite to read this. And the more people hear about Gretchen Whitmer in the nation and who she really is, not what she's going to campaign as if she does run for president or vice president in 24 or 28. This is an opportunity to get to know who she really is. Representative Cara, I appreciate you stopping by. Um, and and I'm going to try to make up there on, on Tuesday night as well. You know, I have a bunch of little ones, so so on occasion. But um, if not, uh, I am going to be making an order very soon. So once again, thank you for taking the time, sitting down, uh, talking with us, um, and good luck with the launch. Yeah, thank you, Clint, and good, good talking with you. Appreciate what you do.